What's going on YouTube? I'm back at you with another video. Back at you from the garage today with my uh, 2022 Dodge Charger RT and F8 Green. Today I'm going to be doing a mod to this thing. I'm going to be installing this uh, ND Rush. This is uh, the tail light and side marker blackout kit. So I'm going to be blacking out the side markers and also the tail lights. So um Gonna do just do a quick install, but before we get into it, uh, like I always say in my videos, if you like the content of my channel, hit that like button, subscribe, drop a comment, and turn on your notifications because I will have more content coming soon. But without further ado, let's get right into this install. This is the ND Rush uh, blackout kit for the tail lights and the side markers on the Dodge Charger RT. So, gonna get right into it. Okay, YouTube, so first let's uh, unbox this blackout film kit and see what we got. Like I said, this is the the blackout film for the tail lights and also the side markers on the Dodge uh, Charger. This is my, once again, like I said, this is my Dodge Charger RT and F8 green. So what we're gonna get want to get in here got a squeegee uh got a microfiber cloth you got the the blackout film for the tail lights here and then this is the blackout film for the side markers and you're also going to need a couple other things for this uh, you do need a microfiber cloth and a squeegee, which, like I said, came with the kit. And then you'll also need a heat gun. If you don't have a heat gun, you could use a uh, hair dryer. I just bought this uh, heat gun off of Amazon. I believe I paid about $28 for it. It wasn't expensive. I bought it because I need a heat gun for some other things that I'm going to be doing in the future, which you'll see. And then you'll need uh, two spray bottles, which... One of them is filled with, uh, this This one is soapy water. Uh, just use this soap. Um, you can use any type of mild soap, uh, baby soap, uh, stuff like that, baby shampoo. And then this one is a cleaning solution, which you'll need. If you don't have a cleaning solution, you can do what I did. Um, one of my guys that I know that does tents told me he uses uh, a mixture of distilled water and rubbing alcohol. So that's what I have in this one. So those are the things that you'll need for the install. So got all our supplies, let's get right to it. Okay, YouTube, so we're gonna get going with this install. I wanna get it done pretty quick. It's hot out here, so I don't wanna be out here too long. Uh, let's uh, get it going. I have my, uh, see I have all the film out of the box. You see it's labeled. See, this is driver fender and then driver trunk. Then we have uh, the uh, passenger fender and then passenger trunk. Um, and then the side markers. So let's get right to it. First thing I wanna do is clean this window with my, this is my cleaner solution. I'm gonna take the microfiber towel, I'm gonna wipe it get all the resi any residue off. My car is dirty because um, it's been raining a lot out here. It hasn't been to the car wash, but I do want the lights clean when I clean, when I apply this. So then per instructions from my tent guy, I'm gonna spray this with the soapy water. He says this allows you to be able to manipulate the uh, the film after you put it on in case you don't get it perfect the first time. So I'm just gonna remove the film from the backing, which seems like it didn't wanna come off, but there we go. So I'm gonna try to line it up. Let's get over here. I'm gonna try to line it up. I'm trying to get a good angle so I can see this. Seems like the best angle. So 
gonna line it up. As you can see, the soapy water is working. It's helping me to be able to move it after I place it on. So there we go. And then what he says is you just wanna spray it with the soapy water again. And then use your squeegee to push out all of the excess water, AKA bubbles. I've never installed tint on windows, but one thing, you know, I do know from getting tint installed on my cars and seeing bad tint is that bubbles are a bad thing when it comes to film. So I'm using this soft end of the squeegee. It has two ends, it has a hard end too, but I'm using the soft end. It's working fine and it's not scratching up the film or anything, but it looks good. This is my first time uh, applying any type of tint or film to the car period. So you guys are going through my first journey with me. I wouldn't try this with my windows. I paid to get my windows professionally tinted, but these tail lights, I figured I'd give it a shot. And if I messed it up, I'll just pay somebody to do it right. But that looks pretty good. I'm happy with that. So I'm going to do the same thing with the trunk light. Spray it with the solution, the cleaning solution. Wipe it. Get all the residue off, any residue. And then I'm gonna spray it with the soapy water. And pull this film off of the backing. And do the same thing, try to line it up perfectly with that trunk light. This stuff is cut pretty good this stuff from ND Rust, so it looks like it, it fits pretty, it's pretty spot on the way it fits. It doesn't go over the edges or anything. Goes on pretty, pretty straightforward. All right, so that's on. Now, spray it with the soapy water again, and go over this one with the squeegee. Try to get all the bubbles out. Now, according to my tent guide, the only thing I'll need the heat gun for is if the edges are not smooth. Which, with this film, it looks like the edges are really smooth. So I don't think I'm going to mess with the heat gun. That looks good. I'm, I'm happy with that. I don't see any bubbles. I think I'm good. I don't know if I'll need to use the heat gun, but I bought that heat gun for something else that I'm gonna be doing with uh, a couple of my pistols, so I do need it. So I'm still happy I bought it, but it doesn't look like I'm gonna need it for this taillight blackout job. Cause the, this is smooth. This is on there smooth. And I don't think I need to put the heat gun on it. But yeah, so that's, that's my driver's side. Looks like it might, I can't tell if that's bubbles or if that's liquid left on there. No, that's, that was just liquid left on there. So that's my driver's side, um, looks good. I'm gonna repeat the same thing for the passenger side, not gonna make you sit through that. And then I'm gonna do the same thing for the side markers. So stay tuned, we are getting it done, but so far so good. Okay, so we are gonna do the same thing with the side marker, clean it, with the solution. Spray it 
spray with the soapy water. See, you've got the film that's labeled driver's side front. Peel that off of here. Doesn't want to come off, of course, on that end, so we'll pull it from this end. And then we'll line it up as good as we can see it. Okay, I see some orange sticking out. That looks better. So we're gonna... This one looks like it wraps around a little bit, I guess, because you can see the, the marker wraps around. But that went on pretty smooth. So now we're gonna take the squeegee again and just push the bubbles out. Move it down. Looks good. I might have to hit this with the heat gun on the inside. We'll see. Looks like it's going on pretty good though. So we'll give it, we'll let it. I might have to hit it though. We'll come back to that. But now let's just get the bubbles out. I like that. That looks good. Like I said, it looks like we may have to heat, hit this one with the heat gun. But that was pretty simple. Let's get to the back. Okay, so we're going to repeat our steps. Spray with the cleaning solution. Clean it. all the residue we'll spray it with our soapy water and add the film once again label driver side rear so I'll pull that off and we're going to try to line it up, like I said, as close as possible. This isn't a really, this hasn't been a really hard job. It's actually pretty simple. With these custom cut pieces of film, it actually goes really smooth. So that's on there. So I'm gonna take the squeegee once again. Try to push the bubbles out. I'll try to use this soft end of the squeegee. If I can, but let's try to smooth that. Let me Run in front of the camera real quick so I can get a better angle so I can see better. This one looks like it's on there better than the front one for some reason. I don't think I'll have to use the heat gun for this one. But that looks real good. So now I'm just going to do the passenger side side markers. I'm not going to make you sit through that because that would be that's identical to what we just did. And then after that, give you a after picture of how everything turned out. Okay, yeah, so got them all in, got them all installed. Side markers, so Gonna pull it out, out of the garage and give a good picture of what it looks like, you know, out in the sun. And I'm gonna clean it up. It's supposed to thunderstorm, so I'm gonna wait a little bit. And then I don't know if this film has to sit for a little bit before it, uh, before I can wash it. But I'm um, gonna chill for a little bit and then take it out and wash it and give you a good 
good after video. But um, this was a pretty easy thing. Um, only took maybe 30 minutes. Much easier than I anticipated. Haven't had to use the heat gun yet. I might have to use it for some of the side markers, but we'll see. But yeah, got my uh, tail lights and my side markers blacked out. I don't know what I'm gonna do with this Dodge emblem just yet, but we'll figure it out. Still going. All right, y'all. So here's a better look at the, the uh, tail lights all blacked out. Just got my car clean, so it's looking a lot better. Let's check out the side markers. You can see that's the rear. That's the front. So yeah, car looking real good. Gives it a better look. So um, like I always say, you know, if you like the content of my channel, hit the like button, subscribe, drop a comment. Turn on your notifications. That way you get notified every time I drop a new video. Because more content will be coming soon. But until then, like I always say, have fun. Get it done. And as always, be safe. And let me know in the comments, y'all, what's the next mod y'all think I should do on this car. Because more coming soon. Peace. We are out.